You wake up in your own bed. I'm either home or dead. Oh, okay, probably not dead. When you exit your chambers, still in your nightgown, you find Leo dozing on a chair outside. I'll just leave him there for now. You seem remarkably sanguine about someone changing your clothes. Maybe the thought of your hot husband peeling off your burned, torn wedding dress isn't so unpleasant? No, I... Wait, did I tell Victoria that she wasn't the boss of me while she was helping me get changed? You're not even slightly disappointed it wasn't him? Leo wouldn't know where I keep my nightgowns. Or the clean menstrual cloths. Oh. It's been a month. I was hoping you would try to kiss Leo while he carried you up the stairs. I didn't. You didn't. But you did pet his manly chest like a puppy and tell him his shirts were very soft. It was adorable. You know what? None of that matters. Because I'm home.